Yeah. We haven't even gotten into it. This is another one of those times where a good up and coming player is going to be shown the gap that stands between one of the best. Exactly. Yeah. What can Shaky really do to G Shark yeah. in this match right now? G Shark, just the solid winner of this game, handily. Oh! Hey! Hey, you know, maybe, I'm, maybe it's going to work out. He's, uh, he hasn't missed the grab. Such oh. solid pivot grab. We've been seeing out of G Shark, and throughout the uh, the tournament, we've been see seeing him get max range grabs. Like he has been playing the spacing game very, very well. Uh, he must have been anticipating a backward uh, back tech roll. Pretty meta, Shaky. Wow. There's again full range, but did capitalize off of it. Yeah. It is, it's also very tough for uh, players to keep a cool head. And to play at their best when you're playing against a nest that is renowned as one of the best nests in the world. Yeah. Uh, you've got to be able to stay focused and just play your game. So a lot of the time, that ends up closing up a lot of the gap that you believe is there. Wow. <laughs> Shaky opts for the double back roll and the triple uh, uh, down smash. Seems to have worked out for him. Sometimes it's not about all this fancy movement. You just got to bring it back to basics. He just has the right. He has moves Ooh. in the right spots. Ooh, great I'm actually DI surprised from he did. He did from that. I feel like one more percent that would have <laughs> yeah. been good. He had good rage on him too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the up air. When we get to that percent with Ness, um, where, where it can be hard and neutral for the other character because you realize, oh, everything kills. <laughs> nice forward smash. Pretty surprising to see a, you know, a lot of. CSSs don't end up using forward smash because of how inconsistent it can be. Shout out to Nairo, Evo 2015. Oh, very strong grab there. I mean, if a big uh, a big talk back in the day, early Smash 4, when uh, we were seeing the rise of GSS, was just that CSS grab is just so hard to land. Like some would find it being it's just impractical. Like you can't be this good. Uh, but there's huge strikes. Yeah, exactly. There was a lot of risk reward talk down the day. We're seeing G Shark. Oh, G Shark has been getting. He's been risking it, winning most of these, missing some of the reward, which uh, you know that that could have. When you when you have the grab, you gotta make sure you capitalize the best you can. Yeah. He ended up uh, throwing out the hitbox on down B, put him in enough lag for Shaky to get that back throw. One small button press is all it takes. Shaky looking chill as a cucumber right now. <laughs> he's shark looking angst. He's contemplating his entire life right now. <laughs> uh. Also needs a haircut. He's got I'll, a nice little swing. I'll tell him later. Uh -oh. Shaky likes to start with the dash attack most of these games. Um, I wouldn't say an optimal as she was going for, but hey, you know if it works. It's, I think one of the biggest strengths that Shaky has is that uh, he never has any concern for his character. Uh, he's never worrying about what Ness can do or what the best option is at a certain time. He just does things naturally because eight years of Ness experience, oh, yeah. you don't think about what am I going to do next. Oh, of course. You go, it's where do I want to hit? It's second nature at this point. Yeah. And so uh, G-Shark, I feel like the, his thought process is, okay... Here's what I can get in these situations. What should I do here and there? And Shaky's not even thinking. He's like, oh, I can let it rock. Ooh, up B, but a little bit too far to the right. I don't think close. Shaky banned anything. I, I think, uh, well, I guess in this format, it wouldn't have mattered if he banned Dreamland because we have three Dreamlands. Big throw. That, that does have invincibility on down B starting arc. Max range grab all over again. <laughs> if anyone needs to learn how to grab with DSS, send them to G Shark. Yeah, he's been doing really well. So. <laughs> G Shark opting to play a little safer. Um, it's just. I, I think most of us have. Uh, I've, I've like said that Ness going on in the future, we're probably going to see kind of drop. Still very, very strong character, but kind of drop because of how exploitable his recovery is. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking the same like that for Rosalina. It just has no hitbox. But, you know, 
And again, you know, you'll see these players, they show you, they know how to mix up. They know, uh, that that's really a sign of a good player. You know uh, your character's weaknesses, and you have honed your skills so well to be able to get around that. It's pretty crazy to see that. I feel like Shaky kind of tests people. Uh, G-Shark is very, very good at offensive play. When the pace is going on an offensive pace, yeah. there's a, a nice rhythm to everything. G-Shark seems to do really well. Yeah. Shaky, oh, once he took that first stock of G-Shark, was like, I'm going to play kind of like Jazz right now. I'm just going to hit at random spots, string things together when I feel <laughs> like it, do do what I want when I want to. Uh. Um, and that did not end up playing out very well for G-Shark. He didn't know what to do. No, well, he, he, he was doing all right. Then it was.